Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install KB5039302 update on your Windows 11 computer. So the first step is to type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And then find app readiness. So over here you can see app readiness, make a double click and set the startup type as automatic. Click on apply, click on study file like this and then click on ok and then you can try to update your windows 11 and then check still not updating then open file explorer in computer open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now over here you can see win re agent folder if you don't see it on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see this folder now, if you don't see WinRE agent folder, in that case, you can skip this step. But if you see it, you can create a backup for this folder, make a right click and then copy this folder and you can just create a backup. Now, once you have a backup, now you can go to C drive once again and then make a right click on WinRE agent folder and then click on delete. Now, once this is deleted, now you can go and update your windows 11 once again now once the update is complete restart your computer if you are able to update then restart your computer and after the system restart you can open file explorer once again and you can put this file back so you can copy this and put it in the c drive once again and then check now still you are unable to update then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to run update troubleshooter for this go to the start menu then click on settings click on system and then scroll down click on troubleshoot now click on other troubleshooters now over here you can see windows update in front of it you can see the run option click on run and once the troubleshoot is complete restart your computer and then update your windows 11 once again now the next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows update in the list make a double click on windows update and then make sure startup type is set to automatic so set it to automatic and then click on apply Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With Windows update selected over here, click on restart the service. Now once done, find background intelligent transfer service and then make a double click on background intelligent transfer service and set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted then click on OK. Now again with this selected over here, click on restart the service. Now once done, now try to update your Windows 11 once again. Now still you are unable to update, in that case use Windows 11 installation assistant for this. Copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website, here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant, click on download now. Now run this exe file, click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 installation assistant. Now if there is any pending update, you will see the option to install the update. So if you see the update or install option, click on it and then update your Windows 11. Now if Windows 11 installation assistant is not opening, in that case you can go to download location, go to downloads and then make a right click on Windows 11 installation assistant, then select properties. Now go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program in compatibility mode for and select Windows 7 from the list and then click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click and then open Windows 11 installation assistant and then update your Windows 11. Now the next step is to use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here write down the name of the update that is KB5039302. Paste it over here. 
or you can just write down the name of the update and then click on start search click on search now over here select the right download now for me it's uh, windows 11 version 23h2 for x64 base system so make sure that you select the right version so you can type in winver that is w i n v e r winver in windows search box click on winver run command and over here you will see the version in my case it's version 23h2 so this is the right one if you have 22h2 then this would be the right one in my case it's version 23h2 and you can check what kind of system you have you can go to settings and then you can go to system and then go to about now over here in my case i have system type is x64 based so for me it's version 23h2 x64 if you have version 22h2 and, and system is x64 you can download this for me this is the right one so i will download this now once you click on download you will see this screen now click on this blue hyperlink and once the download is complete once the download is complete you can click on it and you can update this update manually still you are facing the problem in that case you can reset windows update components for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here and then open notepad on your computer and then paste all the command in notepad now go to file then click on save as and then set the location as desktop name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files and then click on save now go to desktop over here you can see wufix file make a right click then click on run as administrator make sure that you're opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now this will open command prompt and first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and then it will close this command prompt automatically this will close and once the process is complete make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart update your windows 11 once again now the last step is to use media creation tool so if nothing is working you can use media creation tool to update your windows 11 go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel